Hi, I'm Renato Calabria, Bevel Hills Plastic Surgeon. Today we're covering facial anatomy as related to Botox injections. Facial anatomy is a very complex one. That's why a plastic surgeon is the most qualified person to do Botox injections. So let's review each area of the face with muscle, which are involved in the area. So here is the forehead. It is the most common area that we do Botox on. We usually accomplish with four injection each side. The Botox paralyzes the frontalis muscle and gets rid of the lines. Other area that are very common done in close to the forehead are the corrugator muscles, which are this muscle between your eyes, which causes the frowning between the lines between your eyes and the orbicularis muscle, which is the muscle that closes the eyes and causes the crow's feet. Injection uh, of Botox is very powerful in this area as well. The orbicularis muscle is the muscle that closes the eyes, so we need to be conservative. Another great area to do Botox on is the so-called gummy smile. In this area, the uh, Botox injections are done above the lip in a conservative way to improve the gummy smile. You, you have to be careful not overdo this area because otherwise you would have a bit difficulty in talking and moving your upper lips. A very popular area are also the mentalis area, the chin area, and the uh, corner of the mount. Botox injection done at the corner of the mouth helps with the downshift of the mouth in the aging process. Injection on the chin area is very helpful in, in getting rid of all those lines of the chin. Another area that is often done is the masseter muscle, which is the strong muscle that closes the jaw. Some patients have an hypertrophic mus muscle and injection in this area here will diminish the volume in the area of the jawline. Again, in this area, the Botox needs to be more diluted than in other area. Another excellent area to do Botox are the platysma bands, which are the bands of the neck that are due to the aging phase. Botox in those areas is very effective to diminish that and improve an aging neck. Most of the Botox injections are um, needed to be repeated within three months. Another excellent area are the lines on top of the upper lip. Here needs to be done judiciously, again, because in this area, an excessive amount of Botox can cause problems in motion of the upper lip. Overall, Botox is one of the most